name is Eric Cromwell. I'm a lead singer in the band Heat. This is for Diaz the Rock, it's a website, and uh, we have uh, done some uh, interviews with uh, international bands like Early On, yeah. now Heat. Yeah. Uh, this is a new singer for Heat, and uh, you have been a uh, great success in Spain, I think. Yeah, it's good. How successful good. far in well, Europe? We, you know. Yeah, well, it's been, uh, it's been very good. You know, we, we've had very good tickets so, up, and uh, last night in Madrid was, was beyond our. our uh, yeah. It was, it was better than we expected because, uh, you know, it was like, it was full, it was full of people. Yeah, it was a great game. it was a great game. Alright, um, you come from a very particular place, you come from uh, American Idol, a uh, Russian Yeah, Swedish Idol. Yeah, yeah, Swedish Idol. Yeah. And uh, how everything happened with uh, the other guys, how you guys uh, got in touch in the first place? Well, I actually got a request from the band when, uh, you know, the former singer Kenny, uh, he was about to do a gig, but, but he couldn't make it because I think he's feeling he was feeling it. And uh, I got a request from the band if I wanted to be a stand-in for Kenny and do the gig instead, but uh, I couldn't do it because I had my solo career and everything going on. So uh, after that, I, I, I said, no, I can't be the stand-in because I've got my own gym going. Swedish newspaper that Kenny was leaving the band. And after that, I got a new request. Do you want to be, if I wanted to be the, the new lead singer of the band? And, uh, I couldn't say no. Oh, yeah. You know, it, was, it was everything I wanted, and, and uh, it's the music I love, and the music I love to play. And, uh, yeah, well, everything was good. So we arranged a meeting, uh, and, uh, Okay, Eric, so uh, you come from uh, Swedish Idol. I don't know how big right now that's in your country, because in here is like 15 versions of, of that same Yeah, show. yeah it's, uh, it's about the same as Sweden, actually, yeah. yeah. And you got, you got, right now, you got uh, recognized in the street, or...? Yeah, well, it, well yeah, well, it, it's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's how it is, but, but you know, it was worse. And, you know, I, I, I participated in the 2009 version, so... It was worse back then, but now I think you know people recognize me more for being the lead singer in Heat than than the uh, than the Swedish Idol guy, you know. Wow. So uh, and that's what I want. Want that's how I wanted to be, you know. I wanted to. I want people to recognize me for for being a lead singer in Heat and not not the Idol guy from 2009. Yeah. So uh, I think that's that's something we've accomplished and something something that's very good. All right. All right. So uh, now you've got an album out, uh, you've been touring with the band, how's the feeling, how's, how's everything, because you guys didn't know before and yep. then you have to, to um, get together and write songs and uh, play together, how's the feeling, how's everything? Well the feeling now is very good, you know, it feels like I can't imagine doing anything else than being in this band right now, because uh, I've actually been in this band for three years. And uh, you know, time flies. Oh yeah. So uh, it's been three years, and it feels like a family. It feels like you know I can go on forever and do this and do this with with these guys. And uh, yeah, it feels very good. You know, we when we when we first met, we uh, when we started writing at Destination, you know, we didn't know each other, and, but there was something there. You know, we we kind of hit it off pretty fast. So, um, yeah, the, I, you know, it's all good, it's all good. It's great. Well, three years together, it's uh, time enough to... Uh, yeah, we know each other, together. you know, yeah. We, yeah. We've done some good things and some bad things together, and uh, yeah, it feels like home. I'm going, I'm going to ask you a uh, question. I don't know if in Sweden it's popular, this kind of music, because it seemed, uh, when the first album came out, uh, I, I gotta be honest, I yeah. thought another band trying to do the same thing yeah. that bands did the in the 80s. 80s yeah, yeah. Uh, and I had to uh, give it some, some spins yeah. to uh, actually get into the album. Well, maybe and that's how it is. We um, wanted to do something yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. No, but the sound, I think it's it's fresh, using the same structures. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's very honest proposal. It's, it's, it's something 
uh, from the heart, yeah. I think. And uh, how, I don't know if the other guys maybe uh, are better suited to answer this, but how you guys feel doing something so uh, not so fashionable, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we always, you know, we can't write and do something we don't like. We have to do what we like and what we believe in. Otherwise, you know, it's completely useless. You know, why yeah. should you do something you don't believe in? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter if it's music or, or if you go to work and you're a truck driver. If you believe in it, you do it and you do it, you know. You do it from the heart. Yeah, exactly. That's it, yeah. So that's what we do and we, we, this is the music we like and the music we, we love to write. So we're going to keep doing it and we hope people will like it. Well, the third album has been so good. Yeah, yeah, cool. I'm glad uh, you like it. I think, I think the, the three albums are very, very uh, high in quality. Yeah. I think it's good albums. And um, uh, I, wanna, I wanted to ask you, um, the support from uh, your country uh, is as high as uh, the rest of Europe? Because I, I know that in Germany or Spain are very uh, hard rock fans. Yeah. But maybe in Sweden it's not so... Uh, well, we have, we have, you know, we have a lot of hard rock fans in Sweden. So, and we have a lot of hard rock fans in Sweden. So, I th it's, Sweden is a good hard rocking country. Strong. Yeah, it's good. You know, like Europe. You know Europe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got a hardcore superstar, you know. Yeah. We, we wrote a song with hardcore superstar and, you know. So, uh, we got a lot of good bands in Sweden. Crash Diet. Yeah. You know, so, it's a good rock rocking country. Well, that's what, what amazes me, like, because the old singer, says to leave the band for whatever reason yeah and then they find uh a singer, you know it's <laughs> Thanks, like, Laman. Thank like you. in sweden uh, there's great singers everywhere you know yeah. so that's the impression we got here yeah oh really <laughs> okay in, in spain in spain <laughs> well we got some bands but it's yeah. not like europe you know big band yeah. like that you know yeah well that's good to hear thank you man that's great thank you that's great thanks a lot especially coming from you know swedish idol because in i don't know you you know here operation dreamfo is the same sorry Operation Dreamfall is, is the yeah, uh, yeah, idol yeah, from, yeah, yeah. from Spain. Here, the, normally rockers don't like that show, you know. All right, all right. Because it's uh, all, all poppy. Yeah. Like, uh, well, I guess it's the same in Sweden, but yeah. you know, yeah. But I think I think they like when you do rock songs. Oh, yeah. you know, yeah. So, yeah, but it's the same in Sweden, definitely. Well, that's yeah. Possible. All right. Um, and uh, finally, I don't know what the future brings, what will bring for you, I don't know if you have uh, projects, solo projects maybe, uh, projects with the band, I don't know if you can tell us about it. I don't have any solo projects because, um, you know, I'm in heat now and this is what I do and we're going to record a new album, we're going to write a new album and we're going to record it this summer and then we're going to have, we have a few, few gigs to do, a few shows to do uh, while we're writing and while we're recording. We're going to do one, one real badass show in Germany with uh, White Snake, Toto, Journey, Survivor, you know, uh, Europe. So that's, that one will be very good. Uh, and then we're going to release the album. Our plan is to release it in the beginning of, ne in the beginning of next year. All right. So uh, that's our plan and, and we'll stick to it as, as good as we can. That's great. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, just start touring again, you know. Okay. Do you want to say something to the Spanish fans uh, for Diaz de Rock? El perro está abajo de la mesa. Great. That's the only one I know. I didn't say you know what? We, we love Spain and we love you guys. And last night in Madrid was awesome. So thanks a lot for supporting us. And, you know, we're going to do it in Barcelona now. So cheers, guys. Salute. All right. Thank you very much, Eric. Thanks a lot, man. Muchas this. gracias. And uh, rest of the band, get in the picture. Say hi to the Spanish fans here. Hola, me llamo Enrique. <laughs> we want to say thank you so much for supporting us here in Spain. We love you guys. Yeah, we love you. This is Jonah from Heat. This is Eric. Hello, Spain. <laughs> thank you so much for coming out to the shows and supporting us. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. El paro está abajo de la mesa. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Hello, Spain. I love you as well. <laughs> That's good. Thanks, thank man. You. Thanks, thank you, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much.